Greetings, friends. It's me, John Ross, and I'm here with another fun-filled science activity for you today. We're going to further explore fourth grade science, specifically light, as we delve deeper into transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. To do so, we are going to do a nice little project with our students. And what I'm going to do with my kids is create our very own stained glass windows. Now, to do that, we need a number of things. First, we need a transparency. So, I'm going to take my transparency and I'm going to take a glue stick and I'm going to cover that transparency in glue. Fast and furious I go. Now, that being said, once I have glue on there, I'm going to pull out some tissue paper, which has been pre-cut. And I'm going to apply this tissue paper. Now, some of your students might choose to create a beautiful picture with this tissue paper in the transparency. They might make or create an, a picture of a, a bird I've had a student do in the past. Uh, the sun, um, or even a flower, or which is also very common and popular, is to um, chaotically simply throw them, the tissue paper that is, upon your transparency. So it's really whatever your kids want to do now. Now, I'm not going to take the time to go ahead and coat this or cover this entire transparency in tissue paper. So I'm going to go ahead and jump at this time to this transparency, which is pre-covered in tissue paper for time's sake. And I do want to take a moment to just pause and talk about the science here, which with these two substances, we have the transparency, which is clearly transparent. It's a transparent object because light can easily pass through it, allowing us to easily see through it. The tissue paper, on the other hand, light can pass through it, but when it hits the tissue paper, it bends, um, preventing us from being able to see through it well. Now, the third type of object is an opaque object, that is construction paper. I'm going to take that construction paper and I'm going to fold it nice and neat. I'm going to take the bit, the side where the fold is, and I'm going to hold that near me. And I'm going to cut out the construction paper in such a way that I'm cutting out the center. Now, what I do to one side as a consequence of my cutting, I'm doing to the other. So, voila, I have my frame. Now that I have my frame, I'm going to apply some glue to one side of it. Once I have my glue on there, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm going to press it firmly, securely, to my stained glass window. And I have just created a stained glass window, which incorporates transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. Hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you, and join us next time.